Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and this is the Unreal World and we are back with Athena here at the new cabin. We just constructed this. Well, it took a couple episodes and a lot of work in between recordings too, but as you can see our full cabin is done. It's got all the loot from our raid in here plus all the skins that we've picked up from our hunting and some trading too. I got a couple beaver furs and badger. Those were from trades but we've got quite a nice haul. You know what I really need are some cows or some bulls to help me load this stuff. I mean, the dogs are great, and I love my little pack of canines here, but um, yeah, they don't haul very, very much stuff. You know, I have started feeding them too. I brought back all the human bones from our raid, and man, they're actually eating through those pretty quickly. I'm going to need to Go on another raid, aren't I? Speaking of which, let's take a look at the world map. Unfortunately, there's no enemy settlements near us right now. I bet you if we explored a little bit, we could find one, though. But uh, there is a blacksmith order out put in many days ago. 53 days ago. Okay, yeah, I don't remember what this was for. Oh, a round shield. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we need to go pick that up and see if there's any quests, too. That'll be a good idea. But um, we've got a little bit of meat here. It's drying. It's not a big deal because, yeah, both of sets of that have like over 20 days to go. I do want to grab a little bit of meat just for some trading purposes in case I want to, I feel like hiring a companion. It's always good to have a little extra help with you, especially when you're out in potentially hostile terrain. But uh, before we go, let's just take one quick sweep of the trap fence. You can see the outer perimeter of our cabin here our base is fully fenced in with some traps now of course anything that can travel over the ice will be able to go right through it and smaller animals can climb the fences too but it looks like nothing's right nothing's been caught right now although we have had several different kinds of animals a deer an elk a wolf and a bear all caught in our traps at this point so very successful. Those trap fences are worth the effort, but they are very resource intensive. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Yes, we are leaving one of our dogs behind, kind of to help guard the sheep. And like I said, we're headed northward now. Let me see, unless I'm mistaken, we are not able to travel over the ice yet. Nope, says we can't trust the ice. So that's okay. I knew that that was the case. That's not why, that's why we're not going on like a larger trading trip right now and just stick into a quick blacksmith slash quest run all right speaking of the blacksmith here he is and of course the shield is ready after 53 days you think that it is definitely so i brought some armor with us now this is the busted up and dented armor from our raid most recently and i tell you what that raid has turned off turned out to be a, one of the best things we did so let's just throw up some of the smaller items there. Halfway there. Yeah, this stuff is pretty valuable. Promising. All right, so it's promising. Let's give them like 10 bear cuts. Just a few more things away. Another 10. There we go. Boom. All right. Now let's greet him again. How's it going? Uh, oh, okay. So we do have a... What does he say? The old sage wants to have a word with you about forest manners. Okay, so that's obviously a quest. I, that might be the Forest Maiden quest. I'm not sure, but we're going to go talk to him. Definitely. I would like to order something else from this guy, though. So we've got some arrows. We don't need a sword because she sucks with a sword. We've got a, sh a shield, helmet. A, we've got a trident. Let me go ahead and just get... I really don't need another axe. I could get the, I don't have the splitting or the woodsman's, so we could go for that. I mean, at some point I do want to have just like a masterwork. Let me get another, another pot too. Yeah, I plan on doing a lot of cooking here in the near future. We've got a whole suite of cooking recipes thanks to our mod set. So, which by the way, there's a link in the description to the mod pack I'm using, but it adds a ton of different stuff for cooking and just general crafting. But uh, yeah, we'll take a beautiful pot. Thank you, sir. So his masterwork quality pot is just called a beautiful pot. That's essentially what that is. All right. So, oops, let me talk to him again and find out where that quest giver was. And here is the shaman. Good day, Athena. Tell me, Athena, how would you like to get to know those forests you roam? Okay. Those whose forests you roam. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, who might you be talking about, old crazy man? The spirits, silly. Who else? It is evident that you can find the trails and hunt the game, so the spirits of the forest surely have been fond of you at times. But the spirit of the forest is also a ruler. You better know closely if you are to thrive in his realm. So, I reckon it's time for somebody to tell you the essentials about these matters. I've watched you, and I consider you worthy of the lore. Well, that's pretty awesome. I don't think this is the Forest Maiden quest. This is one I don't think I've ever done. I am thankfully listening. I knew you would. Let's get started then. There are many other worldly beings in the woods, but the mightiest is the spirit of the forest, who rules over the forest and its animal. Uh, hunters therefore have to observe certain rules, make sacrifices, and appease the spirits whose realm they roam. Each forest has a ruler of its own, and everything we hunt is theirs. Means to gain their favor are numerous, but best assured if the spirit of the forest is met in person. Okay, so sounds like we got to meet this spirit. How do people get to meet their, these spirits? Well, not everyone does, but I'm hoping you would. Rarely does the spirit of the forest appear spontaneously before one's eyes. Should that happen, it is usually a display of great satisfaction or fury. It has been most, uh, it has to be important matters for the spirit of the forest to address people, but there are means to summon the spirit of the forest for an audience, a way for the hunter to seek advice as well as to maintain good terms with the forest. You might dare to learn and make use of these ways. Yes, I certainly would like to learn all there is to it. Here, the essentials are proper location and possessions. The spirit of the forest can be met and addressed by sacrificing silver at an ant nest. You do it alone at night and then wait for the spirit to arrive. Do not fear and he may speak and show himself to you before dawn. Not only what the spirit may tell you, but also how he looks like are both important messages. Interesting. Firstly, how does the spirit look like if he arrives? The spirit of the forest appears in the form of an old man with extremely long beard, which is gray like tree lichen. He is quite a sight, and quite often he is dressed in lichen and moss. He may first appear tall as the forest itself, peeking over the treetops, but then walk at you as a mere short old man. Despite a varying appearance, spirits of the forest all wear one thing in common, their recognizably gray hat. And then, what should I do or say to behave right? The custom is to let the spirit do the talking. Don't fear. Let the spirit approach and listen to how the forest feels about you. Pleased spirit examines you with gentle big brown eyes, but an upset one faces you with a gloomy expression. His appearance speaks for itself, and if he decides to speak the words, may lash, advice, or praise you. The favored hunter may be told where the game roams, or made aware of other important matters. I see. Anything else I should know about? Don't underestimate the forest. An angered spirit of the forest may revenge with sickness or getting you lost. To stay in good terms, make a good use of the hunting spells, and rely on sacrifices to gift for what you are given. Spells and means to address the forest are numerous, but meeting the spirit proves how your alliance really holds. How your alliance really holds. That is all. Now I only wish that one day you can tell me that you really were kind to whom the spirit of the forest appeared for. All right. Well, interesting. Very well. We'll see how it goes. So, is this place marked? It is marked. Yeah. Spirit of the Forest quest right there. Okay. I was going to say, because it should be marked with the um, order for the blacksmith as well, but the spirit... Quest takes precedence. That's cool. Let's check our entry log. Oh, I've still got this one here for the flowers that I never found. The heather. That's a that's a shameful quest that I've, I'm going to fail in two days. Just ignore that one. This is the one we're looking at. And also, too, by the way, I just want to make another note. I've mentioned this once, but just to reiterate here, I haven't forgotten about the treasure that we've got to go find in Easter, southeastern Koivula. 
Um, I'm hoping it'll still be there, but I'm, I'm just waiting for the ice to be stable enough for us to walk on. But anyway, guys, this is pretty amazing. And I do have some silver. I, I knew, well, I had heard that that would be needed for certain questing. So I picked some up. It's back at the cabin. And I tell you what, I think we ought to head back home and try and do this quest. Now we just got to find an anthill. Okay, well, I stopped off back at the cabin. I dropped off the dogs and the new shield that we just picked up. But um, it is morning, so this isn't an appropriate time. But I decided to set out and search for an anthill, which, as you can see, I have now located. We got ourselves an ant nest right here. I have marked it on the map. We're not very far from our cabin. Our cabin is the white X there. But um, that's I don't think that matters at all. Um, but this is going to be the spot, so I'm going to zoom out right here, and we'll just head back to the cabin for now. Kill a little bit of time, maybe check our traps again, see if we got lucky. You know, I'm pretty sure I remember seeing an anthill down here to the southeast, just outside our trap, or the fence line. I don't know, though, if I, maybe I'm just imagining things, but even even though... I, I thought about that. I was like, you know what? Let's go a little bit deeper into the forest because the proximity of the dogs or the sheep, I don't know if even the animals count as being alone or not, you know, but I just wanted to move out, you know, be safest in the deep forest. So that's what we managed to find. But no, I didn't even see an anthill down there. So I think we're good. I'm also not seeing anything in the traps right now, sadly. But that's just how it goes. So what do we got down here? Oh, scratch that. What is that? Oh, we got a little bird in our trap. Yes, hazel grouse. So I've kept the uh, loop snares up. No real reason. You know, we don't need the meat or anything. But it's good for sacrificing. And the little bit of leather scraps do make a difference sometimes. So, hey, I guess this is what I'm going to do today while we wait for the night. Okay, well, it is midnight, and I think that probably qualifies for the time of night. We can do this ritual, at least I hope so. As you can see, we're right here on top of the ant hill. So let's go back to the ritual real quick. Just want to reread this, make sure. So it says, The spirit of the forest can be met and addressed by sacrificing silver at an ant nest. You do it alone at night and then wait for the spirit to arrive. Okay, interesting. Now I wonder, hmm, do I need to sacrifice the entire silver bracelet? It is more than a half ounce of silver there. Maybe if we use our knife or something. Let's try this. No. Huh. What about... I can't apply. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll just sacrifice all of it. I can get more. The hard part is not affording it. It's just finding it. But during our big trading trip, that's one of the things I'll definitely be looking for. In addition to a few others like salt and stuff like that. But all right, let's stop talking and let's sacrifice. I assume we just do a general. Yep, yeah, and we got the silver here. All right, let's do this. You carve some shards of the silver bird bracelet onto the ant nest as a sacrifice. You feel at ease. All right, and I guess we just look around. Should I zoom out? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Anything happening? I'm passing time here, but I don't see anything. It does say we feel at ease. Wait, let's read this one more time here. You wait for the spirit to arrive. Do not fear. He okay, so we'll just wait. It really hasn't been long. Maybe I should zoom. I'm going to zoom all the way out. Okay. Huh. Just passing time and looking around. I don't see anything yet. We got a pretty good visual tonight, though. The, the moon is out. I don't know if it actually worked or not. It did acknowledge that we're standing on an ant nest, though. Do I wonder how much silver I have left. Okay, we got, yeah, we got a little bit left. So we can try it again for sure. Maybe tomorrow night if it doesn't work, but... I hope this works. I don't know. 
must be doing something wrong, but I'm not going to give up. We're, she's rested and everything's fine, so I'll just sit here and continue to pass time doing this. And of course, the second I see something, I will bring you guys right back. Oh my god, I almost gave up. Literally, I was like, okay, I must have done it at the wrong time or something. And then I turned around and he was there. You see him? Standing right there. Oh my god, old man with a long gray beard. He looks appreciative and a little bit fatigued. Rough tree lichen, overcoat, rough moss trousers, and a gray hat. Wow. Alright, so we let him make the first move, right? That's what the quest says. Whoopsie. Um, custom to let the spirit do the talking. Don't fear. Let the spirit approach and listen to how the forest feels about you. All right, let's notice. I'm going to continue to pass a little bit of time, but notice the, the log down here. and Let's see what it says. Oh, he's coming closer. Old man with the long gray beard says, May your tracking be successful, your traps bountiful, and your arrows accurate. Oh, is he leaving? Okay, I think he's leaving. Thank you, spirit. We appreciate you. Is he, what's he doing? He looks appreciative. He rested a little bit. He's no longer slightly fatigued. There he goes, fading off into the distance. I'm going to keep zooming out until he's truly gone, gone. Nice. Oh, I think he's gone. Is that it? Yep, he's disappeared. Wow. Okay, we just had an encounter right there, for real. And it seems like it was a good one. He gave us a bit of a blessing, didn't he? Oh, man, that was cool. Okay, well, after that successful quest, you knew I had to rush back and tell the old man about it. This, I think, will officially end the quest here, so it expires. Oh, I just noticed we had like a full year, basically, to complete that, I think, which is crazy, but we got it done right away. I was anxious. That was a good encounter for sure. All right, let's greet the man. Good morning. Even better day to you, Athena. Let's see... Uh, you were right. I did meet the spirit of the forest. Ah, great. So you were worth the knowledge and wise enough to respect my advice. Stay away from angering the spirit of the forest. Always be humble and modest and you'll be favored. Over time, you'll learn more from your own experience. But now there is this one spell I would like to teach you. It is persuading the forest with a with a bread, which is something to bear in mind if you'd like to see your trapping and hunting prosperous. Yes, that is interesting. Listen carefully. You are one of the few I've ever told this to. The forest can be persuaded to not to hide its thingies when going hunting. It is done by carrying a bread, which with you which is dropped and left at a spruce on a hill or cliff and then the specific incantation is cast with all this knowledge you are now on a solid path remember the spirits of the forest are always watching you very well thank you for your guidance there elder not bad okay well that's not really the spell i was expecting but persuading the forest with a bread the forest can be persuaded with a bread to hide not to hide its thingies very nice i love to see the forest thingies come out to play so that's a good spell we're gonna try that at some point obviously it's incentive for me to cook up some of my own bread which we will do too so that's really cool but you know i was thinking about it and after looking at the entry let, let me move away from the village a little bit after looking at this entry again for that wasn't it this one yeah, for where that quest is, or the treasure is, I think we can probably do, just go get this treasure. It's in the Koivula area, southeastern Koivula, at the region called Noisy Wild. So that's the hard part, just locating Noisy Wild. But it's probably not that difficult. 
it says a small Spruce Meyer Island. So that'll be interesting. Maybe that'll give it away. But yeah, like I say, I, it's not that far. And really, honestly, we probably don't need to be able to travel over the water. It does say island, but well, let's just see if we can find it. Okay, well, I just found Noisy Wild. I also found an elk over there, but I'm not hunting him. Now this is, I literally just stepped into it in this area. So if we move back one, that's the far mountains. This is the Noisy Wild. And there is a pretty substantial lake here. You know, honestly, if it is in a true island, we will need to wait for it to freeze over. But I'm still in the Noisy Wild here. I guess there, I don't see any Pine Meyer Islands. Maybe, maybe that's what this is. Right here, this one, these two may be. Well, I tell you what, I take my words back. We are going to have to wait till the ice freezes over because this is it. This is, it's got to be one of these islands. So my instincts were correct the first time around, but no big deal. Like, I mean, at least we've checked it out and now we know. Yeah, I should probably just, I'll put a marker here too. Say noisy wild make it real easy to come back all right well what better way to celebrate our successful quest but with a hunt so i did encounter an elk here and you can see there's a little bit of forest behind me but it looks like the elk is headed out into the open land it's a small one but that's okay we'll take it she's pretty far away and i still need to wield an arrow so let's grab this broad head and we'll take a shot yeah, it's pretty far, but that's okay. Oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Let's see. Walking lame. Yes, so the broadhead definitely did the damage we want it to. Let me re-equip my ski stick. As you can see, I did make a new one, so we have a just a normal quality ski stick going on. But let's move. So we're traveling at 4 miles per hour here. I think we could technically go a little faster with the skis, but we're doing okay. Whoops. Looks a little bit fatigued. Walking lame. Let's keep pursuing it. I don't know if that lame walk is going to... Look how close it's letting me get. Wow. I would take another shot at it, but there's not. I don't want to hurt the hide. Well, she is moving quick, though. Whenever she does start to take off running. That's all right. I'm just going to continue to push her. There we go. We want her to sprint. We want her sprinting. Oh, damn. You know, I just realized she's heading back towards the trees now, isn't she? All right, let's see. She's oh, still only slightly fatigued. Dang. Let me see if I can't get down here. Oh, she's starting to sprint towards him now. Shoot. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. We got a rowan forest here. Rowan slash alder. This is literally the kind of forest that we built our cabin in. Clear. I cleared most of it, but there's still some remnants. I can follow the tracks. This is a little bit easier than a, like a full-fledged spruce forest. Obviously, it's a bit clearer, but still not ideal. There she is. Let me look at her. She's still only slightly fatigued. She's got that broad head in her. I'd like to get that back. Heck, I'd like to get the whole animal. Okay. It is getting a little harder to follow these tracks, though. They're pretty scattered. Spread out. Let's see. Okay. I think she went over this way. Man, she's leading me on a chase. You know, the bad... Oh, there she is. The bad part is, too, I don't think there's more openness beyond this. I think there's more forest, but... All right, maybe we should take another shot. Let's go for just a regular arrow this time. Oh, damn, she turned and started running. It's all right. We'll go for a headshot. Let's do it. Oh, nope. Not that time. Oh, man. Well, I was partially correct. And I was partially incorrect here because there is a field to the north, but it looks like she might have had it went into this forest. Yep, there's some more of her tracks going deeper into the forest here. Damn. Well, it's not impossible that she could still pop out a little bit farther down. Sometimes they'll do that. Just a kind of... Oh, oh we just walked into a village. <laughs> Hello. Where are we exactly? Hold on, let's greet the person. Oh, they already know us. How's it going? Pretty well. No quests here. Um, where are we? Oh, this is one of the independent little villages. Yeah, not in the Koivula lands, but pretty close to it. Oh, well, nonetheless, looks like we lost an arrow or two. 
but that's okay. It's worth the chase, you know. It's worth the try. Oh boy, well, check it out. It's hard to see, but no, I mean, no farther than like two or three tiles from where we encountered that elk or where we lost the elk. There's a herd of reindeer. I think it's a herd. Let's get up here and see though. Oh, um, the problem is it's still on the edge of this forest here. Damn, where'd it go? It was there and now it's gone again. Uh, sometimes you will lose them on the world map like that. Normally they don't disappear immediately, but who knows? It might have been on the map for a while and just now saw it. So uh, it's bad luck, but I'll still zoom into this area and see. Maybe we can come across some tracks or something. All right. Well, it definitely came across some tracks. As you can see, they are very fresh and they are leading northwest. So these are the reindeer ones, not that elk. Let's just, well, actually, there's two different tracks here. They're probably... Yeah, small and big. So we got multiple. It's definitely a herd of reindeer. And the good news is this is pretty open area. Oh, I just crossed into a new tile. But this is definitely... We're on the edge of a lake, but... The planes go for miles. Ooh, oh, I thought they went out. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, they're out on the lake. Oh, no way. Damn. Well, I'm not going out there. It's not strong enough yet. If I can't walk on it on the world map, then I'm not going to try it on this local terrain. I probably could go out there, but the ice would potentially crack and stuff. So that's interesting, though. They just go right out on it. And did you see the holes in the water, too? That indicates they were falling in and stuff. But okay. Um, problem is, if I shoot one, it might just head right back out into the lake and I can't get it, you know? Now, this one's interesting because it looks like now that it's on dry land, it doesn't want to go back out into the water. I'm talking about this one here that's kind of freaking out. That's a small stag. Let's look at these other two over here. Big one. Small one. Size isn't that important to me. I'll take the small ones too, but... Oh, okay. Now they're back on land. It's interesting, because I think once they're on land, they're going to avoid the water. I'm really surprised to have seen them out there. It's not totally unheard of, but it is kind of weird. Is this the big one I'm chasing? That's another small one. Well, we should try and focus on one. We'll stay stick with this guy. And if we can keep them separated, that's good, because what they'll do, they'll constantly try and reunite with the herd which basically makes her extremely predictable. You can kind of tell where she's going to go. She's going to go back towards where the herd's at. So there she is. You can see her. It's like clockwork. We can scare away, and then she's going to try and just go right around us. Boom, there she is again. Let's, see which, let's check her out. She's fatigued now, so probably won't be that hard to get her down. Let me just keep pursuing her. Act like a buffer here between her and the herd. There we go. It's easy to lose her though, but her tracks are visible. Alright, there she is. Let's check her out. She's very fatigued. We're getting there. We got this one, I think. We got this one. Didn't even fire a shot either. Come on. Alright, let's see. If she gets breathless, we, we're in there. Oh, almost. Almost. And there it is. She is breathless. So as you can see now that I'm... she Yeah, she can't even outrun me at this point. We're catching up to her. So, there we go. We've got another kill under our belt. I've got to obviously do the dirty work, but we'll grab our, our light knife or power knife is what it was. I think is that that's what that translates to. Go blunt to the legs. Bring it down. All right, there we go. It is down. Now I go for a headshot. Blunt to the skull. Let me zoom in a little bit, too. Oops, wrong button there. There we go. And just a few more solid blows to the skull. Probably about a dozen. It's a small animal, but it obviously has a pretty thick skull on it. All right. And of course, there we go. As soon as it dies, I back away and I'll go tie up the dogs. So, as you can see, we've got another successful hunt here. The spirit of the forest is with us, finally. We lost the elk, but that's okay. 
we got a little bit of meat here to take home. So I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. It's been a pretty eventful one, but I really look forward to the deep winter once the ice freezes over because we got a lot of big plans, not just the treasure, but the trading trip too. So I hope you guys are pumped for the rest of the series. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and I will see you guys on the next one.